On Friday, the local election tribunal court proceeded to hear the case in which United Party for National Development candidate Victor Nyasolo, who lost the elections in the Lusaka Mera seat, has petitioned newly elected Lusaka City Mayor Chilando Chitangala. This morning, the tribunal heard from a witness that opposition former PF Deputy Mobilization Chairman Geoffrey Mwamba gave him 8,000 pre-marked ballot papers which were marked in favor of one candidate. Phineas Kazongo, who was a presiding officer in the just-ended general elections, was presented as a witness by the petitioner and in his testimony testified that the night before voting, he was approached by people among those Mr. Mwamba, who is commonly known as GBM, and informed him that he had a package for him, pre-marked ballot papers for mayoral candidates which he wanted him to fuse at the center he was operating from in Matero at the community hall. However, the court could not proceed to hear testimony from Mr. Kazongo following an objection raised by the respondent that the only way he could testify is by getting permission from the Electoral Commission of Zambia. Because the time he was a presiding officer, he had made an oath not to disclose any information. In this matter, Mr. Nyasulu has cited Ms. Chitangala and the Electoral Commission of Zambia as the respondent, respectively. He wants the court to determine that patriotic front-winning candidate Shilando Chitangala was not duly elected as Lusaka City Mayor because of the irregularities that took place at Mandevo Totaling Center. We are happy that we've come to this day uh, where the tribunal has, has started. We are very hopeful of uh, justice because that's what we are interested in, uh, truth and uh, justice. And so when you talk justice, it means uh, the correct things will be done. Meanwhile, in our defense, Ms. Chitangala has refuted the allegations laid by Mr. Nyasulu and has submitted before court that the petition should be dismissed because it lacks merit. Miriam Kemba, reporting for Kamne TV News.